being recognised for her work on gender equality, human rights and social justice, Pumzele Malamba Nkuka, former head of UN Women, was honoured with the Global Goalkeeper Award. Pumzele has done so much advocating around the globe the entire time she's been in this job. She's an unapologetic leader about the importance of gender equality. And Fumzili, as you know, you made sure that civil society groups were constantly in the conversation, not on the margins, but in the center. And so both because of that and the work that Fumzili did on the Generation Equality Forum, to pull that off in the middle of a pandemic and to have it go so well and see new commitments to SDG 5, I know that's going to have ripple effects for a long time to come. And so for all those reasons, this was actually a really easy choice for us. Pumzile, it's wonderful to see you and many congratulations on winning the Global Goalkeeper Award for 2021. What does it mean to you? I'm actually quite uh, excited, excited for myself excited for women and girls and thankful that uh, our efforts have received this attention. Well, you're being recognised, of course, for your unwavering global leadership on gender equality. Was there a moment or personal experience for you, Pumzile, that sparked the passion and focus? Well, you know, 2015, was a critical year uh, for us in the gender equality movement because that's when we marked our 20 years of implementing the Beijing Declaration. And it just dawned on me that this progress was way too slow, that the resources were scarce, and that the number of people who were fighting for gender equality were just too few and we were too thin. And from there onwards, I said to my team, we have to change the way we work. We have to reach out to a much larger constituency. Pumzili, of course, the impact of the pandemic has been huge. You led UN Women as their executive director throughout the pandemic. Has the progress now been reversed? Certainly, it is unfortunately being reversed. Uh, but I would also say we should not give up because there is something we can do about the challenges we face. Uh, women who have been thrown into extreme poverty have increased. Particularly worrying, Tanya, is the fact that women between the ages of 20, 35, up to 35, are the ones who are bearing the brunt. We have to uh, uh, be concerned about the number of women who lost jobs during the, the, the pandemic, because as you know, Tanya, the pandemic was in the sectors where women are highly represented in the care, in the care services, in hospitality, in tourism.